TYT Sports, welcome if you're tuning in on Facebook. Also, uh, we have a very interesting topic, and by interesting, it is the thing that we, me, myself and Jason look forward to most throughout the year. FIFA 17 yeah, is there. coming our way September, and of course, those sneaky bastards over on EA decide to leave out a nice trailer to just allow us to anticipate the release even more so. The tagline, I do like it, is it's football has changed or something along those lines, but they were very creative with the trailer. Take a peek. People say football never changes. EA Sports. It's in the game. We see it differently. Football has changed. Jason was asking who the voice was, and it was none other than the sensual, if he happens not to succeed at Manchester United, could become smooth radio host, Jose Mourinho. He could say anything, and I'm interested. Please, pass the cheese. Please. <laughs> pass the butter. Please, more cream. Do you have? More a, cream. Do you have an iPhone charger? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Got one right Anything for you. Uh, so yeah, Jose Mourinho is the voice and of course the personnel in there. Jason stated it was a little Premier League heavy at the start, but they brought in Hammers and Marco well, no, Royce. Actually, now that I think about it, it makes sense because it was first Manchester United, then Chelsea. Like, the, the, the clubs, Mourinho yeah. Were, the, the, yeah. And then we have, so we have Hazard, Martial. Martial, by the way, who's going to be they one found of the Hazard. covers. That's yeah. what he was the whole season. He was just been sitting in the studio. <laughs> he popped out for two games towards the end. He's like, i got to go back. <laughs> he helped win less than the Premier League. And then he had to say, i got to do my job. What do you need? Oh, yeah, I need to turn up and help with. Right, lads, take away the technology. I'll be back in at least 25 minutes. Got to go and score a goal. Okay. Martial is going to be the cover. It's going to be one of the pers uh, it's going to be one of the players on the cover. Um, what about here in the U.S.? They still put they're going to I, I think, yeah. Wait, probably, Messi's not on the cover anymore? They'll probably put Dempsey on. I, I really, I just seen the rumor that Martel is going to be one of the ones on the cover. You'd expect Messi to be in the trailer if he was going to be on the cover, right? I don't know how I feel about that. Marco Royce, very I'm totally handsome cool Marco German, Royce on the cover. who is not going to be at the Euros. I still don't understand I that. Know. Um, and the the reason why from is that he's too injury prone. Well, why the fuck is Jack Wilshere there? Because that guy is a oh. walking injury. Who cares anyway? Let's not get into that. I like Marco Royce. Yeah, I like him a lot. So, um, the obviously we're going to do a bunch of FIFA clips, guys. We're going to do tons. Talking about the, the predictions for the ratings when the ratings start to come out. Well, so that, wait, 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 wait. We're talking about that right we'll now. Talk, well, are we, are we going into full detail? Or no, just, just one like one very teaser. specific detail. Like Messi and Ronaldo are obviously still going to be 92, 91, 93, 92, or they'll be tied for top. Uh, given Ronaldo's Champions League win, maybe he surpasses, maybe he surpasses Messi, but Messi won the Ballon d'Or. Therefore, I'm going to safely assume he'll still be the highest rated guy. Now, as for who the third highest rated player in the game will be, the list of names is interesting. There's going to be a lot of ratings boosts. Like, for example, Aubameyang is going to get a major boost. Uh, Jamie right Vardy, so. Mares, and Conte are going to see major boosts. However, is it a clear lock that Suarez should be the third highest rated, or at least tied will be a 90? There's usually only, what, four or five guys that get a 90. Last year it was Silva. Yeah. Um, Suarez, I think, was last year also. Yes. And Neuer. And that was like it. Yeah, there's... Um, Lewandowski's going to get a boost. Of course, when as the game goes on with the updates, we have the ability to see things progress based on their form that year. Like when you see Vardy's current statistics at the start of FIFA 16 compared to the end, it's really fun to see. As for just going off the base stats going into it, uh, Luis Suarez, I would not be surprised if he's around 91, 92. And it's funny because we are like, your reaction's the best because it's like, it's one point difference, but it makes so much... I would say more of a difference on FIFA. Not playing with them, but just in how close he is. He's the closest to Messi and Ronaldo. Let's just be honest, right? There's a bunch of players out there who could necessarily get a high boost. I'd say David De Gea is closing in on a 90-rated goalkeeper. Like when you Just look, behind Neuer. Is just the behind best. Neuer. I still think Neuer. I mean, Oblak. Uh, Kale, uh, Oblak as well. Absolutely. Kaelin Navas. A lot of good goalkeepers out there. Um, Ant Antoine Griezmann could be close to a 90 in terms of his rating. Diego Godin in comparison to how good of a defender he is. Tom Cleverley. They always easily. <laughs> Lord Bettner. Uh, they always throw in like a midfielder, whoever the outright best, because I think part of it is positionally based. Like mm -hmm. obviously you can't just give all the forwards and goals like goal scorers 
like 90 ratings. They don't do it that way. They're actually extremely balanced, I think, when it comes to the ratings. There's always some controversy. Yep. But compared to other games, at least like NBA 2K and Madden, where like basically it's like, oh, everyone's a 99, and then if you're mediocre, you're like a 96. Yeah. Like in FIFA, if you're a 95 or 96, that means like that you've been upgraded to inform halfway through the season, you're on a fucking tear, yeah, which I love. Yeah. Uh, so my feeling is also like last year, like Silva got a 90 and they usually throw in a defender. Yeah. Whoever the best defender is, but they're, they pick as the best defender, will get like a 90 rating because he's the best at his position. Yeah, but don't get me wrong, like FIFA are good at that, but they're also very bad, I think, giving a lot of credit to players that deserve it. I mean, Rakitic was lesser than I think Modric was last year. I mean, this year it's a different kettle of fish, There's but so last year, players. so many players, um, I believe Mascherano, who you guys know I'm a huge fan of at centre-back for Barcelona, not as much this year, but in their Champions League treble winning season, about, he was like an 83 or 84. How about what he just did for Argentina? Yeah, he's, <laughs> a, he's a great player for Argentina. What I would like to see, by the way, and I hope this appeals to some of the guys that think I don't pay homage to the underdogs, Gabi for Atletico Madrid, I don't think he's ever been valued as high as he should be. I think he's at least an 86, 87 for the role that he plays with, yeah. with Atletico Madrid. And there's a bunch of players in there that need to come down a peg. Hazard is one of them. He was close to the 90 rating in his prime for Chelsea in his Premier League winning season. I think he's about an 86, 87. Now, as it's like a, the, the now, negative he's a, 33. He's, a, he's undercover. He's going to get put up. Gonna That's the other up. problem. They might give cover athletes a little bit of extra boost. Yeah. You never know with those things. So here's what uh, I think we should do. Uh, the ratings are not going to be released for, uh, I think, another month or two. Granted, there will be leaks. Um, there will be, you know, rumored as to what, like, who will get what. Mm -hmm. We're going to make our ratings. Yeah. And then when they do get revealed, we'll do one of what we think they should be. And then when they get revealed, we'll try to match our ratings up against what FIFA actually was. There's a lot of players to choose from, but we'll we'll do our best to look into, you know, the top 50 players in FIFA 17. Maybe we should do uh, a FIFA what if in preparation for FIFA 17 on my, uh, on, we'll do like the top 11, best 11 based on the ratings that we think next year of the highest rated players mm -hmm. versus a next team of like the second highest rated players. So like an all-star team versus an all-star second team, the way we did with the NBA. Ah, we had the first team versus the, the second all, team. The all FIFA first team versus the all FIFA, FIFA second team. And that is a rule that is prominent in the US when you have all-star first and second teams. And we're just going to take that right across to Europe because we don't give a fuck, do we, Jason? We're bringing it over. That's what's going to happen. Hit us in the comments. What do you think? Who's going to be the third highest rated player if Ronaldo and Messi continue to be one and two? Ooh, who's going to be the top there? Is it's it going to be Luis Suarez? It has to be. It has to be. We want your comments in the section below and we want your followers on TYT Sports. Let's just be brash and let's be honest. We need followers. At France Underscore Maxwell. At Jason Oh!